Hello everyone, um, obviously as I'm taking this video I managed to get over that mountain when I reached the, the passport control I could barely open the bag to be honest um, my hands were shaking so much everyone was very nice, they looked at me rather bewildered um, I asked if there was a toilet the man says no, the forest it, it was heavy snow and um, I actually just I, I meant was there somewhere to warm up I asked if there was somewhere I could uh, uh, warm my hands, but the customs guy invited me in. Lovely guy, Raddy, and uh, I sat on top of his heater and managed to um, dry most of most of my clothes. He finished work 90 minutes later, which was perfect timing, and I had 20 minutes left of light, so I jumped on the bike and free wheeled down to the first town in Montenegro, Rosage. There's no way I've pronounced that correctly. And walked about the supermarket for 90 minutes. I picked up some dates, a new gas cylinder, gas canister, sorry, um, some seeds and grains. And, uh, and then I arrived here, delighted. I looked about the town, but there wasn't a suitable place. I found this petrol station a few kilometres out of the town. I'm very happy. I met this lovely dog that's feeding four puppies. She's already wolfed down some of my peanut butter, but doesn't like dates, which would give her a lot of energy for the puppies, but no matter. Anyway, I have a toilet over there. I'm still a thousand metres up. The mountain I came over, Kula it's called. Kula? It was freezing, it wasn't Kula. It's 2,000 metres. Now I managed to wash my socks and gloves and underwear last night but of course they're not dry so there's my socks drying on top of my suit this morning I'll have to put on uh, semi semi wet socks again there's no point putting on clean dry ones because the shoes are still soaking so it'll be cold feet today but it's no drama honestly what an exhilarating experience I slept here very happy to have this bench it was a little short, but um, as always, I found something, look, to add on the end, do it, end of it. And uh, for the dog lovers, I better walk around and show you the puppies. Mummy probably follow me. Here we go, four puppies. Cute little things. For those of you who are bored, and puppies aren't a thing for you, you can turn off now. Hello guys, girls, look. They're a bit timid, which is rather unusual for puppies, usually they come running up to you. Right, so I think I have another oh, 20 kilometres to the Serbian border. So that's my, when you come to a roadblock, enjoy the detour in 20 kilometres time or less. I will have had my detour, and it's been a fabulous detour. And so I don't know whether to curse or cuddle that passport control man, it never let me through. I can't say it's warm, I think it's still six degrees or something, but it, it feels tropical after the top of that mountain. And I got a lovely sleep. And uh, There's a Hummer, I think it must be the owner of the, the petrol station come cafe. Everyone's been lovely, um, as usual, as usual. Right, I'm going to go and eat my food, a big hug, and um, yeah, just remember, everything is, everything is possible. Once you decide to do something, things come to meet you. This has been my experience anyway. Bye now.